Hey guys, even here and this video obviously we are starting with Sean Clarida who just posted his physique update at 20 weeks out weighing 206 pounds and I gotta say Sean Clarida blew up. We talked about Nick Walker and how much muscle he gained uh, this year. We talked about Hunter Labrada, maybe Andrew Jack, Samson Dauda, but honestly seeing Sean right now, I mean, he looks probably the fullest, the freakiest, the, 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 like the guy that blew up the most out of all of them. As you can see, he's 206 pounds, which you might not think is too heavy, but for him, for his frame, this weight, 206 pounds, that's a lot. That's like 300 for some guys. And also do not forget that this guy also competed at the Arnold Classic, so he didn't have a long off season. Uh, he also competed like Nick Walker, like Samson Dauda. Uh, so he blew up, you know, in a very short time. And I mean, he's still very, very conditioned. He's just a little watery. And when I say that his 200 pounds is the same like somebody's 300 pounds, I wouldn't say that it equates to be the same in the end, because we just saw at the Arnold Classic, like, he was he was very good, like, he was really big, really full, with great condition for his frame, he was one of the biggest guys on that stage, but it still doesn't look the I mean, he, he's still short, he's still a small guy, he still only weighs... 180 pounds on stage and like Samson Dauda weighs around 300 pounds and he won the show but Sean was compared to Big Remy and that was an actual battle even though Big Remy was 320 pounds at this show so he was like 140 pounds heavier than Sean so yeah like it was insane uh, it was it was actually close considering the 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 the, the weight gap but uh, again, like because of his height, the only reason why he didn't beat Big Ramy that year, actually that that show this year was because of the height. Like if he was taller with the same build, with the same body, just taller, just bigger, he would have destroyed not just Big Ramy, but probably everybody. Like he when he stands alone on that stage, he looks like a mini Ronnie Coleman, like feel heat, like something in between probably like ronnie coleman with more narrow clavicles and with the grainy look of branch warren and the vascularity of branch warren so it's a mixture of those three guys i'm guessing and it does look impressive his physique looks very very impressive but once again because of his height he can't really do much damage in the open division at the very top he already won an open pro show, but as far as the top guys like winning the Arnold Classic or the Mr. Olympia, no, he still needs to stick with the 212. At this show at the Arnold, he was still able to beat guys like William Bonek and even Akeem Williams and so many others. I mean, the guy placed fifth at this show, so, you know, that was a big success for sure. But yeah, once again, 212 is his realm, that's where he should stay, where he should dominate. He did the Arnold Classic knowing full well that there won't be 212 division, he wanted to try out uh, open divisions against the top pros, he did okay, he did really good actually, but once again, if he wants to be the Mr. Olympia champion, 212 is definitely where he needs to stay, we'll see him this year, right now he looks huge, I'm pretty sure he's gonna be even more impressive, freak here, because obviously he has like a lot of room to progress as far as weight, and I don't think there are any contenders knocking on his door. Like, uh, who is there in 212? Who's left? I mean, 53 years old, Kamal Gardney, Angel Calderon, Keon Pearson is slowly starting to knock at the door, I'm guessing, but he's very young. Carried Bajo is in the mix, but like, none of those guys are on the level of Sean Clarida, so I think he's gonna stay at the top for as many years as he wants. Once again, right now, this fool, this blown up, he looks very, very impressive. He looks freaky. He looks great. I gotta say, conditioning is still good. He just got super full and like super huge and the proportions are just looking crazy. I mean, insane. So yeah, I'm pretty sure very soon we're going to be watching this guy dominate in the 212 at the Olympia. Now, this would make a great comparison. Uh, Rafael Brandau, who plays 10th, at the Olympia versus Sean Clarida, a more classic guy, classic bodybuilder against a complete mass monster, but with a huge, major height difference. What would have been the outcome? 
we don't know we probably won't know but definitely would make a great comparison anyways this is Raphael right now as you guys know he's working with uh, Neil Hill and so they posted this video of Raphael posing a little bit and you can see what his physique looks like I mean he is very bloated his stomach is bloated and he is a bit watery like you can't really see any lines anywhere but you still wouldn't say that he's fat, that he's out of shape, that he's chubby, he's still lean, like there is no body fat on his body, like you can see the stomach, it's blown out, it's, it's full, he probably ate a lot, he's probably eating a ton of food to grow, so he's definitely bloated, but fat? No, 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 no. maybe he's eating a ton of carbs as well, and that's why he's so full and so watery, but once again, is there any body fat that I'm seeing on this physique? None, bro. Like, he's very, very lean. Even though he doesn't really show a lot of striations, that's just because he has a really thick layer of water surrounding his entire body. But, like, once again, I do not see any fat. And I'm happy to say this. This means that he's eating a lot of food. I mean, whatever the approach of Neil Hill is, uh, I don't know how much is he training him because they're in the gym together, maybe they did a workout together. I'm sure Neil Hill can teach this guy how to work harder in the gym, how to train harder and more effective, so I'm sure he can learn a lot from Neil Hill. Uh, if Neil Hill is really devoted, then uh, yeah, I'm sure we're gonna see a lot of progress from this guy, from Rafael Brandau. Once again, the structure is all there, it's definitely there, he has everything aside from the mass. And I mean, he has enough mass to be top 10, but if he wants to be like top 6, which would kind of be like the next step, maybe top 8, top 6, he needs to put on some serious amount of tissue, and it really seems like he's doing just that. He looks like he's eating, he looks like he's training hard, he looks inflamed, he looks like he's doing the work, he looks like he's growing. And when we see him next time, I'm sure it's gonna be a big difference. If you guys are having trouble growing, putting the muscle on, you can help yourself by adding a protein powder. And what better protein powder than Vintage Brown? I mean, a combination of whey, cousin, egg white and beef protein with so many different flavors you can choose from. For example, mint chocolate right here. I would suggest this flavor, but you can try whichever one you want. There is the link down below. And once again, guys, if you use the code EVAN, you get a 15% discount and I get something from it as well. So if you guys want to support me and this channel, that's the way you can do it that way. Just try any of the old school lab supplements, but make sure you use the code EVAN, which will, which will grant you a 15% discount as well. So thank you guys so much. Next, we got a little news update. Laszlo Kirali, the Hungarian guy, just won a pro show. He won Sheru Classic, which was a pretty good classic show. And he's going to the Mr. Olympia. We'll see what this guy can actually do against the top open top classic pros. Sorry. But if you take a look at his physique, like he is extremely classic. Like these lines are really exceptional. I mean, some of you might say he has small legs, but he doesn't really, like, there is the thickness, I can see the thickness, maybe the tear drop is not as dominant, but, like, he has legs, and he has phenomenal classic shape, I would say that his shape, his uh, V-taper is probably very close to that of Urs Kalecinski, but Laszlo has bigger upper body, like, he has better arms, uh, more flaring lats, thicker chest, bigger back, uh, the legs, I would say, um, Miracle Bear, Urs Kalecinski has bigger legs, but, like, I wouldn't say Laszlo has weak legs, I mean, they might seem a little downsized, but I would say it's more of a structural flaw, like, his, all of his heads, all of his quadricep heads aren't developed equally, so maybe it's throwing us off a little, but really, like, he has leg thickness, and he has phenomenal shape, phenomenal structure, like the silhouette of his physique is just outstanding. It's really rare to see this kind of shape, these kind of classic lines. I didn't even mention Chris Bumstead when I was talking about the best shapes, the best classic lines in classic physique, because Chris is a separate uh, league. Like, he is in a league of his own. He is definitely... He, we shouldn't compare him to the other guys. Everybody else is fighting for that second, including Miracle Bear, Urs Kalecinski and Laszlo Kirali, along with Roman Dino and uh, Mike Sommerfeld and the others. 
So we'll see who's gonna prevail. I mean, I'm not sure if this guy is gonna look this dominant when he's standing next to the top boys, but it just might happen. It just might be the case because he is really phenomenal and he just won a pro show. He qualified for the Olympia. We are gonna be seeing him up there. I hope he's gonna make the top six because I love his physique. It does look very, very impressive in all of the little snippets of his physique that I saw so far. Really, really extraordinary classic physique. I don't know many other guys that have these kind of classic lines and this kind of completeness. Like, find a flaw. I mean, like, okay, maybe legs. Maybe the teardrop could be more prominent. Maybe you could, you can, it can be more visible, bigger. But, like, that's, I think that's, like, a really minor flaw. His physique overall is super classic and super, super impressive. Can't wait to see him at the Olympia. I'm also very curious to see what this guy will do. Because he is also very, very impressive. Stefan Matala, if I pronounce his name correctly, I'm not so sure. But, damn, he looks impressive. He looks really, really good. He also has legs, don't, don't forget. Uh, so his upper body, as you can see right here, is really crazy. Like, who has this kind of crazy muscle bellies, this crazy fullness, roundness, thickness? I mean, it's just insane. Look at the details, the fibers everywhere. Like, this is pretty demotivating. Like, when I look at this guy, I know I can never look like this. I don't have these kind of genetics. This kind of crazy 3D. I have something more similar to Laszlo Kirali, but I'm not that good yet. Maybe someday, we'll see. And there is also a video of Stefan posing against, actually, next to Andrew Jacked. Now, you probably thought Stefan was huge, and he is. I mean, he's standing next to the biggest bodybuilder right now, probably. One of the, for sure. I mean, but you can see right here what is the difference between the classic guys and the open guys. Even though you can't really grasp how big Andrew is when he's standing alone or next to, I don't know, Samson or Big Remy, here you can see how he's dwarfing somebody who's also pretty, like, pretty big. So Andrew Jack is freaking massive. Anyways, I'm going off the topic, so let's just stop this video right here. If you guys enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more stuff like this, and please go check out the Old School Labs website, buy any of the supplements, and just use the code DIVAN, get a 15% discount. Thank you so much, guys, all the best, and bye-bye.